everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit an interior photo, especially this one, because it's a very beautiful kitchen photo, and it, uh, we just want to make it stand out a little bit more so that more people are willing to actually go look at this house. They probably wouldn't be as thrilled if they saw this kind of photo, so we want to pump it up a little bit, and we're going to use the superior interior workflows from Sleek Lens to do that. And so I'm going to apply some edits here. We have all of the Sleek Lens workflows right here expanded. And so the first edit I'm actually going to do is actually I'm going to do a fake HDR. So I'm going to click on that one there. And you can see, it, oh man, it just opens everything up. Everything looks great. You can see all the shadow detail. Uh, it takes down the highlights a little bit so you can, um, you, you know, it won't be blinded there. And so the next thing I'm going to do actually is going to apply a little bit of transform action. And so to do that, I'm going to go down here to the number one base uh, transform auto. And what that does is just going to straighten up the image a little more. It was kind of off. It was kind of bowed out a little bit because this was taken with a wide angle lens. So uh, this removes a little bit of distortion and makes all the lines straight and it looks a little bit better there. So the next thing I'm going to do is a mid-tone boost. And I'm going to go over here to the number one base mid-tone boost one. And that just brightens it up a little bit make more, makes it look uh, makes it look a lot more bright and clean, which is actually what you want your kitchens to look like when people want to come look at it. The next thing we do is go down to the number two tone and curve, and I'm going to choose the tone and curve number two. And what that's going to do is apply a little bit of contrast where it needs to, and uh, I really like the way it did that there. So the next one is one of my favorite ones, is I'm actually going to go all the way down to number six and use the movable lights, and I'm going to click on the neutral lights here. And you can see it kind of adds these weird, this weird glow here in the center. And what those are are radial filters that kind of mimic lights. And so I'm going to click on the radial filter here, and we have these little, these little orbs around here. So I'm just going to click on one of them right here, and I'm going to drag that up to uh, to right around here over the uh, stove area, the oven area, and I'm just going to brighten that area up. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to drag this one over here. And I'm going to take this one here also. I'm going to move that one. I kind of move that one back here a little bit. And you can see that one's a little bit too bright. And what I can do is click on that one and just take the uh, exposure down a little bit. And we got one small one right here. And I'm just going to take that one. Uh, let's put it right there. And we're going to back that one down as well just because we don't want it to be too bright up there. So there we go. I'm going to click done here and you can see it just kind of adds a little warmth around there. Uh, it makes it look really, really good. So now I'm going to take my highlights down. What, what's cool about these presets is that you can actually do your own adjustments to them. You don't have to just do these and just be done. Uh, so I have all my presets that I want to uh, install there on the photo. But now I need to take some small minor adjustments. So I'm going to take the highlights down a little bit. Uh, bump the shadows up a little bit more and you can just kind of see it opens up this area a little bit. And I'm also going to add a touch of uh, temperature, of a blue temperature, to kind of cool the warmth down a little bit. So roughly there. And uh, let's do one more. Let's bump up the exposure just a touch. Not too much. So right around there. All right, so that is our after photo. I think it looks a whole lot better. So let's look at the before and after. There we go. You can see it looks all nice and clean. It looks bright and, and, and welcoming. This one kind of looked a little dull. So this is... This is this would be okay for a normal listing, I guess, of, the, of someone who just came in there and shot the photo and posted it unedited. But you can see the difference it makes. This this photo is way better looking, and it, uh, it, it it's a photo that makes me want to go visit this kitchen. So uh, that is a uh, small walkthrough of the SleekLens.com Superior Interior Collections. Uh, check out more information about these at SleekLens.com. This is Jordan from SleekLens, and I'll see you in the next video.